I'm sick and tired of intimidating middle-aged white guys telling people that they're stupid for going to bartending school. I'm a rock star. Every day I rock hard. I'm a motherfucking rock star. Every day I rock hard. I'm a rock star. Hi, rock stars. I'm Allie, your rock star bar girl. Um, I mentioned in my last video that I would expand, expound, expand, that I would talk more about um, my views on the whole um, bartending school versus no bartending school controversy, I guess, if you want to call it. Um, it's something that I see uh, come up quite often in the conversation that happens between people who are already bartending and happen to have a bartending job and people who are looking to get into bartending and are trying to figure out how to do that. I mentioned in my last video that um, I find it really confusing and honestly sort of bothersome. Um, all of the animosity that I see from usually like middle-aged white dude bartenders who think it appropriate to like shit on people because they want to or have gone to bartending school. So. Um, in case you didn't see my last video, I'll back up a little bit and just tell you um, where I'm coming from um, on this position. So I went to bartending school 15 or so years ago before I started bartending um, and I had a very good experience. Um, I had a thorough program. I felt like I learned um, a lot and I felt confident when I was done and within nine months or so I was like full time fully employed. Um, I started bartending like I got small jobs before that um, but I was in school I was a student um, so I wasn't necessarily like hustling the way I tell you guys to I wasn't following all of my um, get a job steps um, I was just kind of casually going about it so I got a couple of like small jobs here and there um, and then when the summertime rolled around of the following year I got serious and I pretty quickly got um, a full-time job um, and uh, you know the rest is history as they say um, after about five or six years of full-time bartending um, I started working at a bartending school as an instructor and I taught there for about three years or so um, while still bartending um, fast forward to about the 10 year mark um, and I started taking on management positions and I've been a bar manager now um, for about five years and in the time that I have been a bar manager I want to say that I have um, I've certainly interviewed over a hundred people I've received thousands of resumes I've interviewed probably over a hundred people I've hired maybe somewhere between 50 and 75 people and I've unfortunately had to fire um, maybe about 20 people now. <laughs> so um, not only do I have experience with what bartending school is like, um, what it can actually do for you, um, but I also have experience as a bar manager looking at resumes and considering candidates, some of whom have gone to bartending school and some of whom who haven't. And I gotta tell you, as somebody responsible for hiring bartenders, I truly don't understand and I don't agree at all with this statement or this position that somehow um, going to bartending school like puts you in a worse position for getting a job or somehow makes you um, less desirable as a candidate uh, behind the bar. I have to tell you from firsthand experience, I have never, ever, ever turned away a candidate or thrown away a resume uh, simply because bartending school is on it. So I find it really interesting that so many bartenders 
um, feel it's appropriate to try to convince you that like that's what's going to happen. That like if you go to bartending school, uh, you know, it's just going to be a complete waste of your time, a complete waste of your money, and no one's going to hire you because, um, you know, bartending school is just for dummies and uh, the fact that you went is somehow a negative reflection on you um, as a candidate. I don't get that and it's just not true. What I find most interesting and what I find most frustrating are the only people that I've ever known to take that position or to make comments like that are people who have never managed, never had to hire somebody, or who quite frankly are shitty bartenders themselves. Okay? And I don't mean to insult them in case for some reason any of those people are watching me. Uh, I'm not trying to insult you if you're one of those bartenders who thinks that, um, you know, bartending school is just for dummies. Um, but I, I think you're probably not as good at your job um, as you think you are. <laughs> um, because... Uh, particularly if you are a bar manager. If you're another bartender, um, sorry, but I kind of don't care what you think about what another bartender should be doing to be qualified or confident enough um, to go out there and do well on an interview and get a job. Um, it's kind of one of those MYOB type of things. Uh, if, if something worked for you, if going out to bars with zero experience and a cocktail book in your pocket worked for you, congratulations that's fantastic um, but it's really not okay for you to try to dictate to the next potential bartender what they should be doing uh, to find a job for themselves they should be doing whatever they feel is necessary to go out there and be competitive and be confident um, in the in the the interview process and the job search process if you are a bar manager and you claim that you would never hire somebody who went to bartending school or that you never have, I question your skills as a bar manager. Because what I have learned as a bar manager is that because bartending is so much of an art um, rather than a science, there are a whole host of qualifications, characteristics, and skills that I look for in a potential bartender that have nothing to do with not only their uh, school or lack of school uh, background, but even their experience. I cannot tell you how many experienced bartenders I have hired and have had to immediately fire for a bunch of reasons, because of bad attitudes, because of bad habits that they can't shake, because of poor work ethic and laziness, because they're not diligent, they're not responsible, they're not punctual, they don't show up to work, they refuse to wear their uniform or come to work with the tools that they're required to show up with, like their beer opener or their wine key. Um, there is so much more to being a good bartender than just knowing how to make drinks that I would never, ever make the decision of whether or not to hire somebody solely based on whether or not they went to bartending school. And if you are a bar manager and you are doing that, you are a terrible bar manager. Sorry to tell you. Because what that reveals to me is that you just don't get it. You don't understand what um, a good employee truly is. You have fallen, most likely, for the bells and the whistles. Oh, this person worked for so-and-so. Oh, they've done this for such and such many years. Oh my, they competed in this competition and they won. Well, great. Those are all great things. They should be taken into consideration. But if you just stop there, I can guarantee without having stepped a single foot in your bar that your staff is mediocre at best, okay? They might be fancy and they might be making infusions and they might have worked for so-and-so and they, you know, they might have on suspenders or a fancy leather apron and all of that stuff, but I promise you that they're mediocre. Your staff as a whole is mediocre because you haven't put 
of the time and energy into finding staff that have the whole package. And I have found that I often find the whole package in bartenders um, that are newer to the game, that don't have some fancy uh, you know, place on their resume, that didn't work with some snotty ass craft cocktail extraordinaire, um, where they picked up a really bad attitude and learned how to be intimidating and condescending to guests and coworkers alike. Um, I find that uh, bartenders that have just started out and that are coming right from bartending school are often excellent employees. And they're excellent employees because what bartending school on your resume tells me is that you're the type of person who's motivated enough to go out and educate yourself when knowledge isn't readily accessible. That means if I pair you up with another one of my bartenders that maybe isn't the best trainer, there's a good chance that you're still going to be solid and ready to go at the end of your three or four day training shifts because you're the type of person to look for knowledge rather than just waiting for it to come to you. The fact that you went to bartending school speaks volumes. It tells me a lot about you, the person, your character, your work ethic, your dedication, your professionalism, your organization skills. That tells me a lot about you, the person. And that is very informative to me about whether or not you're going to be a good employee. Now, that being said, wrapped up in the BS of the statement that like you shouldn't go to bartending school, uh, or that it's not worth it, um, are some points of validity. When a bartender makes that statement, or a bar manager even makes that statement, and you press them on it, uh, sometimes they'll say things like, well, the reason I say that is because bartending school uh, isn't going to teach you all of the things that uh, you need to know about working in the real world. Uh, it's not going to teach you how to deal with drunk and irate customers. Uh, it's not going to teach you how to deal with uh, the bar being packed 10 deep on a Friday night, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no duh. No duh. I don't know that any bartending school has ever said that they could replicate what that's like and give you that level of experience. Nothing can. Nothing is going to give you the experience of figuring out how to work back-to-back -back doubles and keep a smile on your face besides just doing it. So of course bartending school can't teach you that. Experience can only be gained by getting experience and there are certain things about bartending because like I said it's an art not a science and because there's so much more to it than just making drinks Sure, there's a huge component to being a bartender that no one can learn until they're in it. But why does that mean you shouldn't go to bartending school? What do the two things have to do with each other? Bartending school doesn't claim to be able to teach you those things. It claims to be able to teach you drinks and about wine and the basics about beer and to give you basic job placement. That's what bartending schools claim to give you. So if they give you that, and they give you that on a good level in exchange for your money, then they're doing exactly what they said they're supposed to. And I don't understand how that could be not worth it. So in case this is unclear to some of you, I'll make an analogy that perhaps is helpful. Imagine you needed a surgery and you needed to choose your surgeon. Could you imagine ever saying to yourself, man, I really want a surgeon that's got a lot of hands-on experience that, you know, just jumped right in there and knows how to do surgery from doing surgeries, you know, a lot of surgeries on their own. But God, I really hope they didn't go to medical school because that's just, <laughs> medical school could never teach you how to do a surgery. You can only learn how to do surgery by actually doing surgery. So if you went to medical school, yeah, you can't be my surgeon. Doesn't that sound ridiculous? Yes, you would want your surgeon to have done actual surgeries. Hopefully the type of surgery that you're going to have but you probably also want your surgeon to just have gone to school, learned the basics first. So 
Why wouldn't you want the same thing from a bartender? Sure, you want a bartender with some experience, but why wouldn't you want them to have gotten some basic information under their belt first? Doesn't that seem kind of ridiculous? It does, doesn't it? And one thing that I find really interesting, and this is just my personal experience. Um, if you are a bar manager or a bartender and you're one of these anti-bartending school people, um, I cannot speak for your experience. I don't know how you went about getting your first bartending job. Um, maybe you can be more useful than just shitting on everybody else's idea uh, and leave a comment down below about how you got your first job. Um, if you grabbed a cocktail book, read it page to page, and then just went out on interviews with your blank ass resume and managed to get a job, then that's amazing. And I would love for you to tell me how you did it because I didn't do it that way. And I don't know how anybody really could. I quite frankly would really struggle at trying to tell a, a wannabe bartender how to get a job if they have zero experience and they didn't take a course of any kind as well. Um, I feel like I would be lying to them if I didn't tell them that it's going to be an extremely long uphill battle and that um, I think the only advice that I could really give to somebody like that um, is that you, you are not going to start out as a bartender. Um, I would say that for you, you are going to need to start off like as a barista in a cafe or if you are able to get a job in hospitality, um, it will, you know, not to focus your search just on bartending. Uh, look at host positions, busser positions, uh, and the bar back position. Um, you know, those are going to be your best ways of getting there. Um, but I think the reason why most people come to, at least to my channel, um, is because they don't really want to do that. Now, even if you have bartending experience, if you're looking for a job, apply broadly, apply widely, apply to any and every position in the bar or restaurant field that you qualify for um, so that you can be working and you can make money. It's way better to take a host position than to be unemployed when you have bills to pay. So 100% uh, go that route regardless, but if you've never worked in hospitality before and you're not interested in taking a bartending course and you want to just start as a bartender, I think that's unrealistic but if you manage to do that then please like I said drop a line down below and tell us how you managed to pull that off but here's what my experience has been with people who claim that they did that again not trying to assume anything about anybody here this is just my experience every single person who I have ever spoken to, who has ever told me I never worked in a bar before in my life and I never went to bartending school and I went out there and I got a bartending job as my first job in hospitality, every single one of those people had a hookup. When I have pressed them on what their first bartending job actually was, the answer has always been Oh, well, you know, my dad had a restaurant. My buddy was a bar manager down the street, so. My mom is a cook and she worked in a restaurant, so I got an interview. That's fabulous, but not all of us have a hookup. Not all of us know somebody already in the industry. Not all of us are chummy with someone who's in management or hiring for bars or restaurants and can get the opportunity to get behind the bar with zero experience, no education. I'm happy that that worked out for you, but I think it's kind of messed up to act like that is a typical experience and that everybody can just go out there and replicate that. So... Why then do bartenders and even some bar managers make this ridiculous statement? I've given it some thought and it's come down to two things for me. The first thing is, it's cool. It's not cool to say, I went to school 
and I studied and I took notes and I took some tests and I got myself ready and prepared and I went out and found a job. That's not cool. That's not as cool as saying like, oh, I just walked into a bar and like made friends with the bartender and he was like, you should work here. So now I work here. That's a way cooler story, right? So I think that a lot of bartenders say that bartending school isn't worth it because saying that bartending school is worth it is just not cool. It's kind of a nerdy way to approach um, a job that is supposed to be the antithesis of things nerdy and academic, right? Bartenders are cool, all black wearing, tattooed, funky mustache having individuals who um, didn't want to work nine to five jobs and didn't want to go to school and get a degree in something. You know, we do this because we want to be cool and badass and we want to be up till four in the morning and drink a lot of whiskey and chain smoke cigarettes. Like, you know, that's what we do. We're cool. So we don't do uncool things like going to school or taking a course. Nah, that's not how we go about doing things. So I honestly think that's one reason behind it. Um, I think a lot of bartenders and bar managers know absolutely nothing about bartending school because they haven't gone themselves, they haven't taught in one. And so because they know nothing about it and it doesn't really fit the model of like cool things that cool bartenders do, they shit on it for like no reason. Oh. <laughs> that's funny, I was waiting for you. I stopped because I was waiting for you. Look guys, the rock star bar husband's home. Right. <laughs> um, the other reason uh, that I think you hear this from bartenders, um, honestly, I think it comes from a place of insecurity. When you become a bartender simply by doing the job, you learn how to bartend and you learn the knowledge that comes with bartending in a really like piecemeal way. So you learn on the fly, you learn as you go, and you only learn the things that um, people bring to you. So you learn drinks as people order them, you learn about liquors as people ask for them, as you try them, you learn about the industry as you are asked to perform. I think what happens to those types of bartenders, especially if they don't do anything else to educate themselves, like they don't go outside of their everyday shifts and take classes, uh, go to tastings, read cocktail books or spirits manuals or uh, anything like that, if they don't educate themselves beyond just what's necessary to be good at their one location, um, I think they are insecure and I think they're intimidated by bartenders coming along and being better than them at their jobs because I think they know um, in their hearts that they're good but they're not great and I think they know that if they are great they're only great at the locations where they've worked that they couldn't pick up and go move to another location and be equally as great because the knowledge that they have is so specific to their location. I've come into bars and restaurants as the manager and worked with a lot of bartenders who fall into that category. Maybe they started off as a waitress and then a bartender called out and they just got stuck behind the bar one day and it's stuck and now they bartend there. And they might be really good, they might be good employees and they work hard and all of that, but even they would admit that they're only great bartenders at that location. That the drinks that they know are only the ones on the menu in that location. And that they couldn't necessarily go to the next bar or restaurant and be equally as good. Because their knowledge comes from such a limited world. And bartending schools and courses are designed not to teach you how to make one bar's menu. They're designed to give you an overarching view of uh, the spirits world, the beer world, the wine world, and the knowledge that you need to be operational with those items um, regardless of where you work. So honestly, I think the whole um, you shouldn't go to bartending school or you shouldn't take a bartending course 
thing, a little bit comes from the fear that a bunch of like better educated, more qualified bartenders are getting dumped into the field of bartenders and they have to now compete with those people um, for their job or for other jobs. So um, I would take uh, that message from any bartender or bar manager that bartending school is not worth it and you're dumb for just thinking about it and you know you're wasting your money and your time. I would take that with a grain of salt. And like I've said before in, in every video where this topic has come up, please remember that going to bartending school has very little to do with the concept of bartending school uh, at all. And it has everything to do with the type of learner that you are. If you are the type of learner like myself, um, that prefers to have previous instruction in an organized way, likes to take notes, likes to study, um, and likes to feel like, um, you know, I've got like a, a good handle on a concept before I have to go out and perform, then bartending school or a bartending course might be a lot more satisfying for you. So I just wanted to put that out there. I don't usually do like rant type videos. This wasn't particularly uh, instructional. I don't think um, but I just wanted to say that because I see that comment way too much and I, I think that uh, view is really short-sighted and um, really discouraging and demoralizing uh, of a message to give to people who are just trying to figure out how to get a job they're just trying to figure out how to get a job in an industry that they find in interesting and we should be welcoming to those people as bartenders and bar managers. We should be encouraging to those people. So I hope you guys found this video helpful is usually what I say. I don't know if it's particularly helpful, but maybe you found it interesting. <laughs> so if you like this video for any reason, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, leave me comments down below. Like I said, I'd love to hear from you. And of course, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, make sure to click on the bell button so you're notified every time a new video comes out. Follow me on Instagram at rockstar underscore bargirl. And please check out my website, therockstarbargirl.com. You can access that course I told you about, but I've also got uh, some free videos and a 16-piece custom bar toolkit that I have put together um, that I think has everything a new bartender needs to get started and to feel confident. Um, so you should definitely check it out. Right now, I have a back-to-school sale going on until September 1st where um, course one, which includes a free bar kit, is 50% off. So I would definitely take advantage and check it out uh, sooner rather than later. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, rock stars. Rock stars.